Hello, welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how we can create flashings or trimmings of edges once you've done your cladding or laid uh, some sheets on the roof. And you have to trim them using flashings there. Here we have the tools available under stud and cladding. And also I'll show you how we can create uh, some gutters and gutter supports. Fortunately, we had created gutter supporting frames here. So this is very easy to create. Just create an horizontal member at a distance that will be able to provide enough support or seating for the gutter. And also you create, you create a stub there or a member that will be able to uh, restrain or con confine the, uh, the gutter in, in that position uh, in case of heavy heavy uh, drips from the roof here so that has been created so the part remaining just to show you how we can use the, these two tools to create the gutters so the first thing we are going to cre create is to create the trimming so i'm going to use these two point these two edges this edge one and edge two there to create uh, this upper flashing so i'm going to use these two tools these two, two th this tool here flashing we, or we, it, it uses only two points to create a uh, uh, flashing or a trimming so i'm going first of all to snap on this edge so to snap there i'm coming i'm going to invoke that command or, cl or left click on that on that command and the zoom close and snap at the corner of this at the corner there so if I move my mouse like that, you'll be able to see a line, a line is following my cursor. And my cursor is showing a plus sign means that, that command is active. So let me just zoom out and target the other end. So I'll target this corner here. So I'll just place my cursor right there and click. Then I'll right click. Right click once again. And we'll have that member created there, the flashing here. Uh, this is just a default orientation and shape. So what is remaining is just to, to modify this to take the right shape that we intend it to, to, to work with. So I'm going to double click on it. So the moment I double clicked on it, I'll be able to give it a shape, a U shape. That U shape will be will face upward and will be used, will be will be riveted or uh, or you, we, we use a J-hook or self-tapping screws to attach it on top here to create a some trimming to hold this member that defines the edge or trims the edge of the iron sheets on top here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to load my settings that I had used previously. So if I click load here, you'll be able to see uh, the settings I had used for this. You can see the U-shape, the AB and the U-shape here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click apply. So if I click apply, you can see the U shape is taking a different a, a different location or a, or a different direction. And now what I'm going to do now is very simple: is just to close this. So the moment I close this, I'll be able to now rotate this. So the moment I rotate this, I'll be able to move it in that direction, and we'll have some trimmings in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reorient my X Y Z plane so that I can define my rotation point along this edge. So how do I place my XYZ plane? I'll come to view. So under view, I'm going to pick these small options here and click on that drop down arrow here there and pick to surface. So I want to place my, my XYZ plane on the surface of this particular member here. So I'm going to, I'm going just to select on this member here and select on that. So I'll give some time to process that information. And if it's still not responding, I'll be able to click on it once. Now I will define my rotation line from here. So once I've selected on this, I right click and come to special move and pick rotate. So in here, I'm going to define my rotation line. So I'm going to click at the edge of this at the center here, just to define a, to define a rotation line. So let me, let me just mouse over at the midpoint right there. So once I select on that spot, I'll just move my mouse in that direction then right click. So the moment I right click, this will be my rotation line. I'll be, I'll be able to rotate this along that line. So I'm going to key in an angle here. So I want this to rotate probably at 90 degrees. So I click run. So if you run, if you translate that, we'll be able to have that in place. 
now the part remaining just to shift it to the right location so let me just turn it around like that and just zoom out and i want to view it from uh, an angle that i'll be able to see it clearly so let me just you know, bring that to to that level or to that direction so that's how it, it is so what i'm going to do i'm going to select on it and move it in that direction so i, I can take back my xyz plane to a default so I'm, I'm going to select on this and come to special move here and pick on linear so they want to pick on linear i can either move it uh, manually or manipulate it using the dialog box of this particular uh, uh, component so i normally prefer moving it uh, manually using the move move and copy command now as it is now we are on the y uh, axis or on the y direction so i'll come under y here and just key in maybe 100 like that so we want to move it in, in an interval of 100 millimeters so i'll go ahead and click move so i'll just move it move it into the dire that direction but we are moving we are, move, we, we are not moving there in, in the appropriate manner i'll just come here and undo everything and undo and do everything then uh, and come back where I was. I was there. So let me just turn that round like that so that we see what we're doing exactly. So I'll select on this, right click and come to spatial move and pick on linear. So instead of Y, we'll work with X axis. That, that was an error that we did. I'll copy that and reset everything and paste it right there. So once I paste it there, I'll be able to move in the X in the X axis. Remember, x-axis is red, so I'm going to prefix this dimension with a negative sign right there. So I'm going to click move at an interval of, of 100 millimeter. So once I'm there, and to, to avoid uh, passing or exceeding the, the defined uh, the set, set, settings, I'm going to maybe just rotate that. I'm going to rotate it so that I'll be able to see whatever I'm trying to do clearly. So if I zoom close and try to rotate this, let me just rotate it about that spot. I want to see it at an angle that you will, will be able to see uh, it clearly, whatever we're doing. So I can move it or I can just uh, take this part and snap it on the other end. The same works much better. So if I pick move, and pick it from that spot, or pick it from this spot here. Let me just uh, mouse over on, or mouse over on that spot, mouse over on that spot, and pick it and just place it right to that edge, so that we don't waste so much time. So once it is here, it will be very really easy for us to manipulate it. So if I right click and come to interrupt and select on it once again and try to move, rotate it like that and I'll be able to see it clearly from here let me just turn it around so I have I have it in this location so what I'm going to do I'm going now to to use the move command once I select on it right click and come to special move come to move and I reset everything and on the X direction I'm just going to key 10 here and just going to move it forward by 10 so that's okay for us so if i turn it around if i move move out i'll be able to see we have some flashing on that end and uh, that's how it looks so the trimming looks okay for to, uh, to me so that's what exactly what we wanted so i can turn that around like that so the next thing i'm going to share with you in the next presentation is how we can create the gutters. So let's meet on the next presentation.